is my review of the Scarp One Tarp Tent, one of the best one-person cycle touring tents you can buy. So here I'll give a walkthrough of the setup and some of my thoughts on the tent. So first thing I always do is get my ground sheet down, just a cheap tarpaulin. Uh, this tent is great because it only uh, has a minimum of four pegging points. Uh, these nice aluminium pegs come with it uh, and you can just peg out each corner. It's such a stable tent. It's got an inverted uh, V-shaped pole at each corner. It makes it unbelievably stable. Just putting in the central support pole here, you've got quite a good ground clearance here, I think 90 centimetres, so you can sit up easily in this tent. So once you've got your two pegging points in, you can just uh, grab the other end and if you give it a quick shake, it should um, all come together and you can just peg out the other two points. So you can see that this tent already with just four points pegged down is incredibly stable. Uh, just going around here, readjusting the other parts. Um, there are another four pegging points here. So there's two at each end uh, and uh, two from the side uh, to stop, uh, prevent. Uh, so that's resistant to crosswinds. So all in all, as a package, it's probably the most stable one man tent I've ever used. And the other bonus, of course, is it's so quick to set up. I mean, if you're doing a multi-day tour, the last thing you want to do is spend ages taking down and putting out your tent. So uh, it's really good that it goes up so quickly, just putting on the two uh, uh, side pegs there as well. And you get all that in a package that weighs just 1.3 kilograms, I think. So it's pretty light. So this is made by Tarp Tent. It's a Tarp Tent. It's made by Henry Shires, which is a cottage-based industry in the States. I'll put the link down below. You can see those V-shaped struts there, which make it so stable at the end. It's almost box-like. You've got the two side supports, ropes there, uh, and your aluminium pegs. And uh, you've got a storm shield over each zip. Pretty effective. But what's really great about this tent as well is that you've got two entrances, one on each side. And within that vestibule there, there's more than enough room to store all your cycle panniers. Uh, so you can use one for storage and one for getting in and out of the tent. And that's really uh, a godsend. So in bad weather here, you've got enough space to cook as well. And the inside is, for one person, is cavernous. You've got uh, just small pockets there, not overly big, but you can see the headroom above me is, is substantial. Again, these are these uh, V-shaped struts. And there are some more venting options down at the bottom here. And you can tighten up all the ropes with this uh, quite clever tensioner. You've also got two vents at the top, one on each side of the pole, and you can clip these down in bad weather as well. So it's got pretty good ventilation. I've not really had a big problem with condensation in this tent, which is great. Yeah, of course, when you get to camp, first thing uh, I always do is uh, just get my tent up and the bedding ready so that if the weather changes, you're not caught out. So just use a standard three season sleeping mat I've got here, I think, and uh, and I'll probably put the sleeping, there we go, uh, sleeping bag in next. This is, um, this is uh, a down sleeping bag, lightweight, about a kilo. Uh, I've got someone else coming to join me there. Tent talk. And uh, a quick walk around here. So it's, as I've said, it's almost a box-like construction. You can see those strips of material uh, on the outside of the tent, those extra lashings, and they're actually... Uh, if you can buy extra poles to make this into a freestanding tent, and people often use this in mountain or high uh, highland areas, so it's very um, adaptable. So here's a stock photo of the tent. Um, I'll leave the link, as I've said, down below. But if you take the combination of weight, size, uh, storage space, 
it's it's a brilliant tent to take cycle touring. It's not freestanding. Um, uh, there are some other options which people like these: the Lazy Competition, the Banshee, the Atco. If you've got money to burn, um, but um, all in all, I don't think you can go far one with the Scarp One Top Top Tent. I would wholeheartedly recommend this tent for cycle tourists. And if I was going to give this a grade, I would give it an A. Watch out for the next Bikeonomic video coming soon. And if you do like these videos, please do subscribe. And thanks for watching.